hi thank you for coming back to my channel to get this retro look stay tuned so first I've already done my foundation and my eye primer I'm getting ready to do my eyebrows I am using the elf eyebrow liner I'll put it in the comment I'm in the comments section I mean I'm sorry the down bar section all the products so for a retro look you're gonna have to shape them like with the arch you're gonna have to go darker than you usually would go I like them dark anyway but if you don't try to go a little bit darker and try to get that arch going this is how they used to do their eyebrows back in the day So as I said, I've already used primer Urban Decay on my eyelids to prep for my shadow. I'm using e.l.f. Kneaded Nude and I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush. I'm going to go into this nude color and put it all over my lids. It's just, you know, to even out the skin tone to give it one unison color. Next I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics brush in this light brown. I'm going to go a little bit inside my crease, but I'm not going to go heavy because they did not wear you know, super heavy eyeshadow back then. And I'm going to make this line at an angle to go right into my eyebrow. I'm going to do the same on the other side. It's just not going to be too intense on the eyes because that is what the liner is going to be for. Next, I am going to go for the highlighter brush. I'm going to take the lightest color in my e.l.f. Kneaded Nude palette and get right up at the top under my eyebrows for a very nice highlight. All these colors are matte, by the way. So you're going for a matte eye look. Now I'm just going to blend in that brown onto my lids with the neutral color. Then I'm going to take my Makeup Forever liquid liner and ink and I'm going to do a retro cat eye. I love the cat eye anyway. It, does, I, it doesn't have to be on a retro look. I just adore it. So you're just going to go in and I always make my wing first and then I go into the inner corner. And then if I want a thicker, thicker line, I'll go back and make it thicker. But some people like theirs thin, so if you like it thin, stop there. I like mine thick, so I'm going for a more bold look. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side and try to get as even as possible as you can. Just take your time on this step. It's, it's very important to get that wing just right. Now that they're about even, you can go on each wing tip and make sure they wing out the same. So I'm happy with that. Next I'm going to go in with my liner brush and I'm going to get some of the brown um, eyeshadow from my e.l.f. palette just to transition. Um, sometimes this helps hide any creases that you might have. So I'll just go in with that. Then I'm going to take my other e.l.f. palette in the naturals and then I'm going to go in the black shadow and go under my eyes as a liner instead of using any pencil liner or liquid liner under there. I don't want it to be too harsh because they did not like line their eyes super super dark under the, under the bottom. So just a natural liner look is good. So I use the shadow. Next I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs mascara. Not too much because I am going to put on falsies. So just enough to give it color and blend in with my falsies. I'm going to use these clean color that I got from the shop 
Miss A for only a dollar. I love these. And like I said, I'll put all the products in the down bar below if you have any questions. I love doing our eyelashes. I don't know why, I just do. Then I'm going to cover the glue and the band up with some more of my liquid liner. Make sure it doesn't stand out. I'm going to go back in with my mascara and take a lot of it off because I'm going to do my lower lashes. And I don't want it smearing everywhere, so I'm just going to go in just for a little definition. I don't need too much. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer that I got from Maybelline that I love, the Age Rewind. This stuff, I love the texture of it. It goes on so smooth and it covers those dark circles. Even if you don't really have dark circles, it covers up whatever's under there. So I went in with that and went under my eyes just to give it a clean look. Next, I am going to get my e.l.f. High Definition Translucent Powder and go under my eyes over that concealer just to set it. I'm going to bake my face for a few minutes like I always do. Next I'm going to go in and contour with this medium color with my City Colors Contour Effects Palette. I love this palette because it has such a range of colors. Um, I don't really use the highlights on it but you know you could so I'm just gonna go all around my forehead get my cheeks and under my chin and just do my normal contour routine and I'm gonna get this um, blending brush contour my nose just a little bit not too much because they did not contour a lot back then so we're not gonna do a heavy contour here just just a light one I'm going to go in with my foundation stick and just go in the little spots that I do want to highlight. Not much because like I said they did not do this much back in the old days so got to keep it authentic just a little bit. Next I'm going into my All About Blush by Glam Chick and I'm going to take this peachy color because they did not wear a lot of blush back then with, with their makeup because it was so intense with the eye and the lips so I'm just going to go in with this little peachy color and just give a little flush to my face, not too much. Now I'm going to go over my whole face with the HD e.l.f. powder just to set it because as you know they wore lots of powder and their face was really matte back then so we have to keep it real. Now I'm just blending all that powder away, making sure I have a nice matte finish. I'm satisfied. Now it's time for lips. This is my NK lip pencil in the color red. I'm just going to align my lips just so I can have a nice, you know, lip line for the red lipstick that I'm going to put on. Back then they only used like reds, pinks, and maybe like a really nice mauve color, but they didn't have too many selections for lip color, so you gotta keep keep it in the red, pinks, or uh, rosy colors for lipstick. Now I'm going to pick up this Milani Lip Liquid Lip in Red Extreme. I got this at the Dollar Tree, y'all. It was a score yes I found this in the Dollar Tree and it's gonna go perfect with this retro look I like how it goes on it's a liquid lip it stays on it's not matte but it isn't like it's not greasy or anything so this would be the perfect lipstick to do a retro look with because back then they had a little bit of shine but it wasn't you know extra glossy and it wasn't super matte it was just right in between so that works out perfect. Now I'm going to go and put a fake mole on my face so I can look like a pinup. Yay! Okay, I should have drawn it bigger, but hey, I did not want to stand out like, oh my god, the fake mole. So now I'm going to take this concealer, 
uh, pencil that I got from e.l.f. It has a, it comes with a brush at the end, but the brush fell off. And I'm just gonna go around my lips to make sure I don't have any bleeding on my from my lipstick and make sure everything's perfect. Blend it out. And this is the finished look. And I'll have to put my bangs out. These are some clip-in bangs, y'all. I did not cut my bangs, don't worry. This is a clip-in hair piece that I use from time to time when I want a bang and I don't want to cut my hair. So I also have this red scarf tied around my head. This is an actual vintage scarf my mother gave me, so it is authentic. Do y'all like it? Yes, yes. And try to keep your earrings retro as well. They did not have danglies back then, so try to keep it, you know, simple but elegant. Then I finally, you know, broke this thing out that I bought a while back at Claire's. This is cool, I think you could wear this to a funeral. <laughs> out to dinner back then I don't think you would do it now unless you're know, like in London or something like that I don't know in New York you'd have to be in a place where there was lots of fashion going and y'all see my little girl <laughs> so I straightened my hair right and then I took a shower and then it got wet and then it got curly again and I was like oh my gosh all that work for nothing anyway so <laughs> this is what happened but I'm still gonna work with it y'all so this is cute, going out to dinner cocktails in the 50s. Oh, by the way, this um, polka dot um, shirt is actually, it's a tie shirt. You tie it around in the front in a little knot and you just put it over a tank top. I got this from Rue 21 and I'm just wearing these little pearls. I think I got these from, uh, I think I ordered them online a long time ago or like from one of those like China stores. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I don't remember. And my earrings are from Shop Miss A and so is my pearl bracelet. And y'all are wondering. So I'm taking selfies as y'all see because that's what I do. I take selfies. Now I'm gonna go in with this little headband that I got also from Shop Miss A. It has little wires in the bow part at the top. It's really cute, it's like pink and blue. This would go good with some blue jeans and a t-shirt or a tank top or whatever in the summertime. I just thought it was too cute. I had to include this look. Oh, this is for the innocent girls. So cute, so sweet. Angel, devil in disguise. <laughs> This next look is the red scarf that I had. I just kind of twisted it up and made it into like a headband and tied in a little bow at the top. And this is um, also you know, innocent looking but with a touch of wildness because it's red. Now this is a ponytail and I just took that red scarf again and I tied it around like, you know, like you're going to the sock hop. <laughs> and these bangs are not working correctly on my head so I need to bobby pin them down on the sides because, you know, they have a mind of their own. So I need to go ahead and pin them down. And if you go to like your local beauty supply store, they will have clip-in bangs so that you don't have to cut your own hair. And you can just find your hair color and type and they're pretty cheap. They're not expensive at all. Okay, this next look, look is an updo. I just pinned it up with a clip, tied this red scarf around it and bobby pinned the scarf in. Took my bangs out and bam. Y'all see my, y'all see? <laughs> yes, it's very simple. And if you want to get extra fancy, take that um, clip and just take it out and just use bobby pins to pin your hair up but I just did it for the video so you can't see behind me normally I would use bobby pins okay so now that you're looking retro glam you can go take your pinup shots now <laughs> if you uh, if you're into that kind of thing go take some for your man okay thank you all so much for watching I'll see y'all later bye
don't forget to subscribe.